Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to show you how you can write your JavaScript in an external file and link it to your HTML. Up until now, we've just been running JavaScript in the console, which is nice, but it's really not that sustainable. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create an HTML file. So let's go ahead and call this index.html. You can call yours whatever you want. HTML5, put in our boilerplate. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this in the browser. So reveal in Finder open with Chrome. So I have this file open. It doesn't really do anything. I'm going to change the name to link JS to HTML. Save and refresh. And now we've got our title there. Then going to create a JavaScript file. I'll call it scripts.js. And again, you can call this whatever you want. And the only thing I'm going to put in here is an alert. Alert. It's working. and save that. And over here in our HTML, we're gonna to link to our script using a script tag. The script tag goes almost always at the very bottom of the body. Script tags are almost always the very last thing in your body. The reason for this is because you want your HTML to load before your scripts, because your scripts are going to generally modify your HTML. And if your HTML is not loaded yet, your scripts will give you errors because there's nothing there. So script, and script is an open and close tag and inside the first one you put a source attribute and you simply link to your file so right now script.js because it's in the same directory if i save this and refresh and actually i'm going to put an h1 or so we can scripts file refresh and we get this pop-up so we know that it's working however if we make this something some gibberish that's wrong and refresh our page it's still going to load the html still loads fine so we don't really see any problem as the user unless we look at the console and then it'll tell us it failed to load the resource and it tells you what resource it failed to load so if you're ever doing your javascript and you're updating it and you're changing things and it's not doing anything on the web page make sure you check your console to make sure that all of your resources are loading this whole alert it's working thing i do pretty much every time that i link a JavaScript to an HTML file, just because on that one chance, make a typo or, or do it wrong, it saves me a lot of headache. It's a lot easier just to go ahead and make sure it links correctly at the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this back, refresh, and now it's working again. So let's go ahead and write some more JavaScript. So instead of that, let's create a const username equals prompt. What's your username? And you'll notice I'm putting semicolons at the end of the line. Semicolons in JavaScript are not required in almost all cases. The compiler will automatically insert them wherever they're needed. Um, sometimes you'll need them, like when we get to for loops, you'll need them in there. There's a few times you actually have to have them, but they're not at all required. It's good practice to put them in, but they're not required. So after we get the username from the user, we're going to alert that. Alert, hello, space plus username, and then we're just going to tell the user hi, and then we're also going to log it to the console. Console.log. It's nice to meet you, plus username. So now we've saved, let's refresh our page. What's your username? I'm going to put jbastine, because that's my Cougar username. OK. It says, hello, jbastine, and in the console it says, it's nice to meet you. So this is just a simple way to demonstrate that JavaScript, you can write it in an external file and it will still run on the website just as if you had typed it into the console. And I can even access the variables inside the console. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.